What's going on guys? I'm Dan. This is Cinder Waters and today we have a review mainly for the women. But before we go any further, how about you hit the like button, hit the subscribe and hit that bell. So on this episode of Cinder Waters, today we have a review for the ladies and this time it's from the house of Vince Camuto and this one's called Bella. Before I get into the actual fragrance, how about I give you the notes? For the top note, you have bergamot. For the mid, you have nectarine blossom and jasmine. And for the base, you have amber. For the presentation of the bottle, you have this nice pentagon shaped at the base. And on the front, you have Vince Camuto with Bella on the top. Nice little tassel charm on the front and the cap. Nice design that they have going on back there. And the cap clicks into place, very sturdy, and you can actually pick it up. I wouldn't shake it around too much like I've done before and possibly drop it. Spray on these bad boys are not too bad. They actually have a good mist on them that I like. I first spray this fragrance. It does smell slightly synthetic at the beginning, but the syntheticness of the fragrance does not last long. After about 30 seconds, the syntheticness goes away and you start getting a little bit more of the floral aspect, the jasmine, the nectarine blossom, and also a juicy bergamot. It's not too heavy, it's not too in your face where I wouldn't say soft, but it's mild. It's very pleasing. It's like it's nothing that's too abrasive. It's not like a men's fragrance. It's a woman's fragrance. So to me, honestly, it's a very smooth, crisp, sweet, florally fragrance. I thoroughly enjoy this. When my girlfriend wears it, it does leave a good, nice scent trail, a good, nice sillage, especially when she's leaving her makeup area, which is all that over there. I would show it to you, but it's a lot. And I don't think she wants me to put all her business out on my channel, but I haven't seen her wear it outside too much to say how it really works outside. But I can say when it comes to her office setting, it's a great fragrance when I go visit her and I can still smell it on her. I feel that this is a great fragrance, especially for the heat, more the summer and spring type of fragrance. This is a great springtime fragrance, I feel, especially now that we are in spring. I think she's gonna start rocking this, or at least I'm gonna start suggesting her to wear this a little bit more, but, uh. The citrus, the bergamot, actually is a very juicy frick. Very juicy in this one. And the florals actually give it a good, nice rounded feel. The citrus in this is not sharp at all. The bergamot, not sharp at all. It's not bitter or anything like that. It's very smooth, especially when it's surrounded by that floral aspect. One thing that I like about this one a lot is when she wears it to work and comes back after an eight hour day, and I can still smell it on her neck. But at that point, when I smell it on her neck, it's not as juicy as it was before it's more of an ambery resinous sweetness and i like it a lot this one does leave a good skin scent to you especially when someone is very close to you all up in your neck after a long day of her wearing this i can still smell it on her especially when she passes me by she can't smell it because she's probably gone nose blind it's not like a beast performer or a beast projector but when she walks by me i can smell it on her and i i can honestly tell that it wasn't recently sprayed but it's but it's still prominent on her skin that it makes you think that she didn't spray it that long ago, probably an hour ago. It's, it smells very good. In my opinion, this is a great woman's fragrance, especially for a good workhorse fragrance. In my opinion, this works great for the summer and spring, good for the office setting, not so much for a uh, clubbing aspect because it's not that sweet, but in my opinion, it is a good day-to-day -day date fragrance, a daytime date fragrance, good all around workhorse for a day-to-day. Once again, not so much for the nighttime. I think they have other fragrances that would better suit that, but in this fragrance alone, more for a daytime aspect. This fragrance, I think I've seen it in Macy's, Dillard's, and JCPenney's, but you can also pick them up at Perfume Mania, some of these discounter uh, fragrance shops, and also online for a more reasonable price or a cheaper price, in my opinion. The projection of Bella from Vince Camuto is about an hour and a half to two hours in longevity just by what I said earlier, lasts at least eight hours plus. But at that eight hours plus, it's more of a very good skin scent with a nice little scent trail, but it's very much skin scent. It does not pro project at all, but you really have to be all up in her neck. <laughs> what I found this fragrance for online was about 35 bucks on fragrancenet.com. I'll leave a link in the description area for it. Honestly, me giving this a rating one out of 10, I'd give Bella from Vince Camuto a good solid eight. I like it a lot. Good citrus floral with a nice ambery touch at the end. It's a winner, a good combination in my opinion. So there you go guys, that's my take on Bella from Vince Camuto. Let me know in the comment section, have you smelled this fragrance yet? Do you girls have it? Do you ladies have it? What do you think about it? 
If not, I think you guys should actually get your nose on this. At least a tester, go to Perfume Mania, one of these discounted places, get your nose on it. I don't think you'll be disappointed, especially if you like floral citrus fragrances. Let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe, and hit that bell. Bella from Finn's Camuto. Solid fragrance, in my opinion. But at the end of the day, so scented water.